Hello, good evening, everyone. Hello. Hello, my voice is audible. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Only one person, only you are joined. Yes, sir. No one joined, sir. What about remaining? <laughs> Don't know, sir. Okay. Can we wait? Hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening, sir. Okay. So we will start the lecture today. Okay, right. Now see here. Uh, so in the last class we have discussed about uh, uh, so integer representation, right or not? So this is a small recap. Small recap of last class. So integer representation. So what are the uh, two integer representation? What is unsigned and signed? Yes or no? Hello. So please uh, turn on your mics. Unsigned integer yes, sir. Signed integer representation. And here, uh, coming to this unsigned, the, the name itself, there is no sign. So all are positive values. All are positive values are unsigned. By default, positive. And sign may be positive or negative. Sign may be positive or negative. Okay. So in this uh, signed magnitude, so we have three types. That is called the sign magnitude representation. Okay. Next one is a uh, once complement representation. Next, two's complement representation. Okay. So, in these three, all positive values are, okay, all positive values are, all po positive values, uh, uh, you use unsigned only. Unsigned representation only. That is a sign magnitude representation. Okay. That means, let me take an example. You want to represent a plus three. So what is the value of plus three? Zero, double one. That's it. But uh, we use this one's complement and two's complement. Okay. In the one's complement, if you have to represent a positive value, that is unsigned only. In two's complement, you want to represent a positive value, that is unsigned only. But especially we use this one's complement and two's complement only for negative number representation. So by default, if the number is positive, we use the sign magnitude representation. So we know that. Uh, Okay, so there is a only one way to represent a plus four. Now let us take this example here. So I will summarize this. Up. So okay, there is a only one way to represent a plus fourteen. What is that vera? Whatever it may be, whether it is unsigned, signed, or you know signed magnitude one's come to two's complement. That is what. How to represent the plus fourteen ra? So sign bit is zero. Sign bit is zero. The remaining bits. Now see here. Zero, zero, zero. Ah. Huh. So triple one zero. So eight four two one code. Eight four two one code. So eight four eight plus four is twelve. Twelve plus two is fourteen. So this is a sign bit. So this is our sign bit. As the sign bit is a okay. The leftmost significant bit. Okay. The leftmost significant bit is zero. Then it is a positive number. The leftmost significant bit is one. It is a negative number. So the only way to represent a plus fourteen is this is what. Whether this may be in the Unsigned representation or signed magnitude representation or one's complement representation or two's complement. That means all the positive numbers are representing it only one value. Okay, only one method. Okay. Now I want to represent the negative values. Okay, that is the I want to represent the minus fourteen. Okay. So represent the minus fourteen in first. Let us say sign magnitude representation. Sign magnitude representation. Sign magnitude representation. So in sign magnitude representation, okay, how to represent the minus fourteen ra? Yes, are you there? Hello. Please, please speak. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, please. And uh, in the, I want to represent the minus fourteen yes, in a sign magnitude representation. That means it is a minus number. Then what is the sign bit? One. Sign bit is one. Now what is the representation of fourteen? So triple zero, triple one zero, triple zero. Triple one zero, so one two three four five six seven. So seven bits are we are using for a 
Okay, that means n minus one bits we use for the magnitude. N minus one we use for magnitude. Okay, okay, one bit is used for sine bit. One bit is used for sine bit in sine magnitude representation. So this is the value of the okay. This is the value in uh, one that is sine magnitude representation. Now to represent the same number in one's complement representation. One's complement representation. One's complement representation. Okay, so that means so this value. The sign, the whatever the value is there, the positive plus, there is a positive fourteen. That is a plus value, positive number. So we will take the complement of each and every bit, including the sign bit. Okay. Now, now what is the sign bit here? Zero. So now complement this entire uh, positive uh, fourteen number. So zero become one, zero become one, zero become one, zero become one. Next one becomes zero, one becomes zero, one becomes zero, zero become one. So this is what the Once complement representation, okay. Once complement representation of ah uh, ah uh, 14. That means uh, we are representing this minus 14, okay, in once complement form. Okay, now we are representing this minus 14 in sine magnitude form. Now we can represent this minus 14 in two's complement form also. Okay, two's complement form. Okay, how to represent the minus 14 in two's complement form? Now. You have to represent the two's complement form, including sine bit, including sine bit. That means, sir, what is the shortcut? Ra, up now uh, coming from the right side up to the first occurrence of one, the value is same. Okay, the value is same. So the remaining bits are complemented by one. So zero become one, zero become one, zero become one, one become zero, one become zero, one become zero, one become zero. Okay. So this is what uh, you need to understand here. Yes, please understand here. So now here you need to understand here. Uh, this is what you need to understand here. Okay, are you there, Ra? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes. So please, ah, uh, ah, uh, this is you need to understand here. Uh, just wait. No, no, we have written for ah, uh, no, listen here. So we have written uh, this is for not this. Uh, now take the for positive value, Babu. Now take the for positive value. Okay. So for positive fourteen, you have to take the two's complement. Now, now actually we have taken the two's count for one's complement. So okay. Are you are you did you observe that that mistake? Now see here. Now for this value, for this value, up to the first occurrence of uh, this uh, one, so value is same zero one. Now this one one will become what? Zero zero. Okay. Now these three uh, four zeros become what? Four ones. Okay. So one 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 one. So this is what the two's complement of the fourteen. That means ah uh, this is equal to what? This is equal to minus fourteen. This is equal to minus fourteen. This is equal to minus fourteen. Yes. Are you there? See that means we have represented the minus fourteen number in one's complement form. Now see what is the code here? See triple zero triple one zero. Okay. One triple zero triple one zero in one's complement. So one triple one triple zero one in one's complement form to represent the same min same for minus fourteen number. Now double one double one double zero one zero to represent the same minus fourteen number in two's complement form. So they see uh, the bits are uh, different. So the bits are different. So this is the conclusion about this. Uh, uh, that is the integer representation. That is the sine magnitude representation. Okay, one's complement representation and two's complement. Now today let us understand the Okay, let me uh, for the this uh, for internet problem. Let me uh, close this uh, now. This videos. Okay, right. Okay. Now let us perform the arithmetic addition. Now today topic is arithmetic addition. So uh, everyone, please listen carefully. This is very very important. So we are getting in the examination also. So so please ah uh, uh, please ah uh, ah uh, now see here. Now I mean, let me take an example here. So we use uh, uh, two's complement, uh, okay, to represent the all the negative numbers. This we uh, please understand that, okay. Now let let me take an example here, okay. I want to add uh, example one. I want to add plus six and plus thirteen. What is plus six and plus thirteen, Ra? Hello. Plus nineteen. That means plus nineteen. I am adding the two positive numbers, okay. Then you will get the positive number only. Okay, now how to represent the plus six in a eight bit register? Now, in always we are taking this eight bit register. Please uh, uh, note this point. 
So I am taking the eight bit register to store these values. Okay. So plus sixteen means what? So what is the eight four two one code? Uh, again, I am I am not doing this. Uh, okay. Two three the uh, okay. Two one the uh, to convert this binary uh, that is a decimal to binary. So I am using this eight four two one code. Okay. Eight four two one sixteen thirty two. Sixty-four like this. I'm using this code eight four two one code. Wait at some code. Okay. Now what is how to represent the plus six in uh, binary? Okay. One two zero one. How many zeros? So five zeros. Double one zero. Now say one two three four five six seven. Now eight bit is zero. Eight bit is zero means what? It is a positive number. It is a positive number. Okay. Now here it is also a positive number. So this bit is zero. Same bit is zero. Now what about the remaining bits? Zero zero. Okay. Now what about thirteen means what? Eight plus four, twelve plus one, thirteen. So, so this is what. Now, please understand this. Now, please do the addition operation. Okay, zero plus one, zero plus one is one. Okay, one plus zero, one. Next, one plus one, some zero, carry one. One plus one, some zero, carry one. So, one plus uh, zero plus zero, one. Okay, so these remaining bits are zero. Ah, uh, now what is the value see here? Now this is eight four two one code. So this bit is eight. This bit is four. This bit is two. One. Now this bit is sixteen. Okay. Now sixteen plus ah uh, two plus one. What is the value? Ra? Nineteen. Nineteen. What is MSB here? What is MSB? That is left to most bit is pause uh, zero. That zero. Means pause to number. So so we have to pause to nineteen. Right. So this is what the uh, arithmetic addition of the pause to numbers. Okay. Now let us check the our uh, arithmetic addition of the One positive number, one negative number. Now second example, example number two. I want to add minus six and plus thirteen. Okay, what is the minus six plus thirteen? You know that uh, because the positive number has the positive, uh, uh, the greater number has the positive symbol. So therefore, you will get the positive number only. So my thirteen uh, minus six is how much? Ra? Plus seven. Now how to perform the uh, addition operation of this uh, one positive number, one negative number? I told you that. So the all the negative numbers are represented in two's complement form. Okay. So write the now uh, that means uh, here the minus six. Uh, okay. So first write the first write the number. What is the number? Ra? So first write the plus six value. So binary equivalent of okay binary equivalent of plus six is what is the number? Ra? So first sign bit is zero one two three four. Okay five. So six bits are over. Now next, next one is seven eight. One two three four five six seven eight. Okay. So please remove this uh, uh, this bit. Right. Now this is our sign bit. This is our sign bit. Okay. Now, now that means here minus six plus thirteen equal to two's complement of. Okay. Two's complement of plus six plus thirteen. So this you need to understand here. Two's complement of plus six plus thirteen will give you that. Okay, you perform the arithmetic addition operation. Okay. Now what is the two's complement of? Okay. Two's complement of zero zero zero. How many zeros? Five zeros. Five zeros. Double one zero. What is the two's complement of? Ah, uh, uh, zero uh, triple uh, five zeros and triple one zero. Now what is the two's complement? Ra? Can you please tell that? What is the two's complement? Tell me. So up to first occurrence of one, the value is same. Okay, remaining bits are complemented. One, two, three, four, five. The two's complement of ah uh, uh, six is a uh, so double one, double one, one zero, one zero. Okay. Now now you can add this ah uh, okay minus six plus thirteen. That means uh, so minus six value now we can write here one two three four five zero one zero. Now plus thirteen value. Plus thirteen value. What is the value? Ah, uh, eight four two one code. So eight four eight plus four is twelve plus one thirteen. Okay, remaining bits will become zero zero zero. Okay, remaining bits will become zero zero zero. Now now perform the addition operation. So here you will get here plus seven. Okay, now let me check here. They are getting the same answer or not? Okay, zero plus one is one. One plus zero is one. Okay, zero plus one is one. One plus one, some zero, carry 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 one. So here this carry is discarded. This carry in arithmetic addition 
the end carry the end carry is discarded okay the end carry will be discarded now what is the now tell me see the msb what is the msb that is left most bit is a zero zero means what value it is a positive value okay positive value now tell me this code so 8421 code so 4 plus 2 plus 1 what is the value 7 so now you got the same answer now you got the same answer that means the answer is correct yes are you following hello yes sir okay right now next two Next, take the next example. The example number three. Okay. Now I want to add this plus sixteen. Okay. Plus sixteen. Okay. Next to minus thirteen. Plus sixteen minus thirteen. Ah. What is the plus sixteen minus thirteen value? Ra? It is now minus seven. Minus seven. That means so. So here you should understand here. So six plus two's complement of ah two's complement of plus 13 then you will you can add that okay now what is the six value so six so now first write the 13 uh, decimal value okay first write the 13 uh, plus 13 decimal value then convert into two's complement form okay so 13 uh, you can write here so uh, don't uh, do this lcm uh, active division method you can use this uh, 8421 code because uh, always uh, it is time consuming if you do that okay so 13 means what 8421 so 8 plus 4 plus 12, 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13. Okay. The remaining bits will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, what is this number? Ra? Plus 13. Okay. Now, 2's complement. Now, try the 2's complement form for this plus 13. Okay. So, this become 1. Up to this 1. Remaining bits will become uh, complemented by 1. 0. 1, 0 become 1. 1 become 0. 1 become 0. 0 become 1. 0 become 1. 0 become 1, 0 become 1. This is a two's complement conversion shortcut. Ra. Okay. Now, this is what the two's complement of the plus 13. Okay. Now, I want to add this uh, 6 and this uh, two's complement of 13. Okay. So, plus uh, 6. So, 4 plus 2. Okay. 4 plus 2 is uh, uh, 6. 4 plus 2 plus 1. Okay. So, this is a code. The many bits become 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, I want to add this minus 13. But minus 13, I am representing in two's complement. So, write this two's complement code. So, double one, double one, ah, double zero, one, 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 one. Okay. So, this you understand. Now, here you should get here minus 7. Now, let us uh, perform this uh, addition operation. Binary addition. 0 plus 1 is uh, 1. 1 plus 1 is 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 1. Uh, 1, 0 plus 1, 1, 0 plus 1, 1, 0 plus 1, 1. Uh, now, you should note one more point here. So, whenever you are getting this uh, negative number of here, now see the MSB, leftmost significant bit is 1. Leftmost significant bit means 1 means, so this number is negative number. So, by default, okay, by default, all the negative numbers, all the negative numbers, all negative numbers are Okay, all negative numbers are in two's complement form. All negative numbers are in two's complement form. Please note this point. All the negative numbers are in two's complement form. Okay, now what is the two's complement of this number? What is the two's complement of this number? So two's complement of this number is okay. Two's complement of this number is ah. Uh, now uh, up to the first occurrence, it is a uh, same. The remaining bits become complemented. Zero become one. One become 0, 0 become 1. So, remaining bits what ra? Hello, are you there ra? Yes, sir. Yes, are you doing any mistake? Uh, until, until 1, you have to write the same number. After that, we have to complement. Yes, yes, okay. So, plus 6 is, okay. 1 plus, 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 0. Carry one, ra, carry one. I, I forget the carry here. Okay. So please uh, note this here. From this here, the value will be changes. Okay. Now see here. So here, you need to understand here. Uh, ah, wow. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is some 0, carry 1. 1 plus 1 is some 0, carry 1. Okay. 1 plus 0 plus 0, 1. Now this is 1. Okay. Yes. Now up to the occurrence of the first most bit, uh, 
so this become uh, same the remaining bits will be become complemented okay remaining bits will be complemented okay right now see here so up to this one is one so zero become one zero become one so remaining all bits are one so those become all zeros so three now okay so these all become zeros so let me write here all zeros yes one two three four five okay now what is this number now tell me as we are converting it to two's complement form so this must be put the negative sign now what is this value of four plus two plus one so this is seven okay yes are you there hello everyone please uh, respond only one person is responding yes, here sir. okay right yes sir now next two next one is uh, now i want to yes Okay, right. So these are the examples so to performing the addition operation. So you need to understand your uh, two points here. First, to add the whenever you want to perform the arithmetic addition operation, add the two numbers including the sign bit. Okay, including the sign bit uh, and discard any carry out of the sign bit. Discard the any carry out of the sign bit. That is you want to understand here. Next, one more point is a uh, negative results are always in two complement form. That is a uh, two points you need to understand in the arithmetic addition operation okay now let us uh, understand the arithmetic subtraction operation arithmetic subtraction operation no need to discuss this contract already because uh, our alu will not perform the subtraction operation so instead of performing subtraction operation it is performing the addition operation only by taking the minute and subtrahend into in two's complement form are you getting or not that means so take the two's complement form of the subtrahend and add it to the minute that means when you are subtracting this a minus b a minus b so a is called what a is called minute end minute end okay sorry uh let me stick so a is called here minute end and b is called the subtrahend minute end b is called subtrahend subtrahend okay that means uh, so a minus b we are performing this a minus b what a plus of minus b that means so uh, we are converting we are changing this negative number into positive number with the positive number into negative number so that you to understand here a plus of minus b so instead of performing the uh, subtraction we are performing the addition operation that means uh, now let me take an example so here plus or minus a minus plus b okay now you want to add these two numbers these two operands plus plus or minus a operand okay and uh, minus plus b operand that means uh, plus or minus a operand and plus b operand you have to subtract so you need to convert this uh, okay this my subtrahend you need to convert this subtrahend into uh, opposite of that number that means uh, if, the, if the subtrahend is a uh, positive then convert into negative and perform the okay addition operation okay and uh, if the subtrahend is a uh, negative that means uh, you are subtracting the plus or minus a operand and uh, minus b operand that means minus b operand that means uh, the plus or minus a operand is same okay and convert this minus b into plus b minus b into plus b and perform the uh, addition operation that means uh, minus to minus plus we know in mathematically but here also we are taking the converting the positive number into negative number negative number into positive number so that you need to understand here okay so let me take an uh, example here let me take an example now i want to add minus 6 uh, okay and uh, minus 7 minus 6 and minus 7 now what is the answer actually what is minus 6 minus 7 ra? if you add the minus 6 minus 7 what is the answer hello sorry sorry minus 6 minus 13 are you there hello hello yes sir yes so, sir now tell me minus 6 minus seven. what is the answer ra? what is the answer babu minus 2 minus plus 2 so plus 13 minus 6 plus 7 na? plus 7 but what we are doing here so we are printing this here so minus 6 
So minus six means it is a negative number. No, it must be in two complement form. So first write down the binary equivalent of okay binary equivalent of plus six. So what is the value of? Ah, uh, five zeros. Five zeros double one zero. So four plus two one. Four plus two is six. Okay. Now next two. So now two is complement. Now binary equivalent of thirteen. Binary equivalent of plus thirteen. First write down there. So whenever you get any number, first write down the positive numbers, binary number, binary equivalent. Okay. One two three four one eight plus four twelve plus one thirteen. Okay. So thirteen. Now convert this. Ah, uh, uh, convert this binary. Okay. Convert this. Uh, now you please write in two's com because all the negative numbers write in two's complement form. Now see here. Why I am reading it? So that means a uh, two's complement of because six is a minus six is a negative number. So two's complement uh, two's complement uh, is equal to ah. Uh, so up to the first occurrence it is same. So remaining bits will be one 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 five ones. One two three four five ones. Okay. So remaining one will become zero. So one zero is same. One zero. So this is a two's complement of six. Okay. Two's complement of the six. Right. Now that means here I told you whenever you are subtracting the operation performing subtraction operation. So here you have to convert this minus thirteen into plus thirteen. I have told you. Okay. So this please understand. This is very important here. This is very important here. This is very important here. So this minus plus b is converted into minus b here. Okay, plus b converted into the minus b. Whereas here minus b converted into the plus b, and performing the addition operation. Now see here. So I first to subtract hand is a. I retain the minus hand is same, but what are subtract hand ra? So now see here. So first to let performing the minus six. What is the minus six here? Write in two's complement form. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, zero, one, zero. Okay. Now here. I am instead of writing the minus thirteen, writing the plus thirteen value. Okay, plus thirteen value. So please uh, note this point here. So what is the plus thirteen value? One, two, three, four, double one, zero one. Okay. Now here you should please uh, do the addition operation. Okay. Zero plus one is one. One plus zero is one. Zero plus one is one. One plus one is some zero carry 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 one. One plus one is some zero. Carry one. See here. Now this is this carry is a uh, ah uh, out of the leftmost bit. Okay. If there is any this uh, carry, if there is any carry out of the sign bit, this is sign bit actually. This is sign bit. If if there is any carry out of the sign bit, so this must be discarded. This must be discarded. Okay. <coughs> Therefore, what is this value? Ah, so it is a plus seven. Now see here. Now your MSB leftmost bit bit is a zero. Okay, therefore it is a positive number. Therefore it is a positive number. So this four plus two plus one is a seven. Four plus two is six plus one is seven. Now we got the same answer. Yes. Are you clear, Ra? Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Ah. So this is what the arithmetic addition and arithmetic subtraction of the uh, two binary numbers. So do you have any doubts? Please ask me. Hello. Any doubt? No, sir. Aman, uh, 